Welcome back everybody to Crows of Judgment, and I'm going to be honest, generally I have an idea about how long a video is going to be, uh, and sometimes I go off on these like, wild tangents and everything, and uh, I don't actually know how long this one is going to be. It's mostly how much I can tolerate of the sheer stupidity here. So, Pokimane uh, got harassed by someone um, who spammed, uh, gosh, where was it? Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you, Willie Mac. Uh, who spammed L plus ratio plus ratio L ratio L ratio. Um, and in terms of uh, active harassment, um, I, I don't even know what to say here. Like, I, I, I literally don't know what to say. She got raided and the raiders were spamming L plus ratio. I, I, I don't even know how this could be triggering to somebody, uh, how this could be upsetting to somebody, how this could be anything other than what looks like just a funny joke. I mean, um, but I, I understand it goes against uh, uh, Twitch's rules and that this is still harassment on Twitch, but I'm done with the cry bully bullshit. I, I really am. Um, so the guy that did this got a two week ban originally which has since been increased to a permanent ban. I do not understand exactly how that happened other than Pokimane is involved, and she has been having these temper tantrum meltdowns between her and Ninja. Ninja, who is a friend, or at least on good terms, with the individual who um, did this to Pokimane. And I have seen probably the most insane takes on this shit. Um, actually, okay, okay. This guy here. Uh, Jake uh, Lucky, uh, eSports guy. This guy seems to be just a complete fucking idiot. And I'm not sure to be a complete dick, but let me read his summary here. What's going on with Pokimane and Ninja? Ninja was gifted subs by Jideon. The same night Jideon hate-rated Pokimane. So, so... Ninja got subs from Jideon. That's why, they remember that, he's, he's been paid. <laughs> Ninja then claimed he texted his Twitch contact to help Jideon with his ban. I'm not entirely sure that he said that he did text, although I think Pokimane might be saying that. Um, Ninja said that he could text his rep, but he did message uh, Pokimane and say that no. Uh, that he wasn't going to do that. And I'll, I'll show that in a second. Now Ninja claims he on his deceased grandfather's life, which is weird, that he did not send the text. And like when I say this guy's a fucking idiot, I mean like, it's pretty clear here he's trying to imply that Ninja is being dishonest. But I'm like, oh, he was gifted. They, they're friends. You just say that they're on good terms. They seem to be very friendly with each other from uh, when I see Ninja talking about the guy. Instead, is Jake guy seems to be trying to imply that Ninja got paid and that um, Ninja is lying here. They did text the rep or something. I don't fucking know. But here's the thing. Pokemon like shows her phone. Okay. So, hey, I just want you to know. This is really small. Oh, uh, it's blurry now. Hey, so I just want you to know. I swear my grandfather's life who just passed away that I didn't text my Twitch rep and you are making a big mistake. Now, I don't even know how to say this, right? But I, I got to highlight because you, you see Ninja's response uh, saying like, y'all will be explained. I just, I saw this and I was like, these people are actually stupid as shit. How about you threatening her? And it goes like, you're making a big mistake. Look, that's not a threat. It, it, it's, it's literally not a threat. He's actually acquiescing to something that she wants and is also telling she's making a big mistake. Probably because Pokimane is the reason why this dude is going to stay permanently banned. And I don't know. I, I guess it really just comes down to whether or not Ninja actually has the spine to fight that battle. Because, mm. uh, So Ninja claimed on stream he would try and get the dude beefy with Poke a lesser ban. Like, that, that's what I thought. Yeah, so like, Diorian posted a bunch of these clips here. Just kind of giving a breakdown of what's going on. The best rundown of these clips would be that... Ninja did want to help out the person that received the permanent ban. Uh, Pokimane got upset with Ninja. Then Ninja's wife gets involved and literally threatens to uh, 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 sue Pokimane 
for the harassment that her and Ninja are receiving because of Pokemane. This is ridiculous and stupid. Like, incredibly ridiculous and stupid. I personally don't care about the beef between Pokemane and Ninja. Um, this Jidian guy, I don't know who he is. If he's just some troll, okay, fine. But to me, he seems like somebody who thought he was pulling off a joke. And this entire situation has just been blown completely out of fucking proportion. I, I don't even know how to talk about it other than to show you this. L plus ratio plus you fell off plus the hood watches Ms. Kip now. This is not a woman who has been harassed, who is traumatized, who feels the victim in any single way, shape, and form. This is somebody openly mocking that she has taken the W. Restore this guy's channel. Restore his Twitch platform. And, and, and stop, stop, stop fucking watching Pokemon, for fuck's sakes.